I'm going to show you how to combine your cover photo with your profile picture. Um, here's a really good example with Bud Light. They have their cover photo here, and then they have their profile picture here, which looks like it's just a continuation of their cover photo. It, it blends really nicely. Definitely really cool, and I know there's a lot of really cool things that you can do with this. So not too difficult to, uh, to do this, but you know I know there's more than one way to do it. So... I'm just going to show you how I do it. I think it's pretty simple, and uh, hopefully you can follow along and, and make it happen. So the first thing that we really want to do is we want to go to our Facebook profile page. Here's mine. This is my test page. I'm going to click on my cover photo, and I'm going to click on, I'm going to right click on this cover photo, and I'm going to save this cover photo to my desktop. I'm going to call it cover photo. It's already there. I can replace it. Cool. And now, now I'm going to right click on this cover photo that I just saved. I'm going to open it with Photoshop. Cool. Now I'm going to select this entire photo by hitting Control A on the keyboard or select all. And I'm, I'm going to copy it. So Control C and I'm going to paste it on a new document a larger document so I have more room to work with so I'm going to actually hit control N or file new and here you can see the dimensions of my saved cover photo and the dimensions are 851 by 315 these are actually the exact dimensions that a cover photo needs to be so I'm actually going to increase the height so that I have more room to work with and we're gonna set the height to 500 click OK all right, and that creates a new document. I'm going to paste now my cover photo. Control P or V. And I'm going to actually just slide it up to the top. Oh, and it'll click in place just like that. All right, now the next thing that I do, I go back to my Facebook profile page. And I'm going to take a screenshot of my page. I'm going to scroll all the way to the top and I'm going to hit the print screen button on my keyboard it looks like this so I hit the print screen button I go back to Photoshop and then I paste that screen that I just took that screenshot and I'm going to do the same thing but I'm going to actually use the arrows on my um, keyboard to just nudge it into the top left corner perfect just like that alright now here's the Here's the trick. Um, this is what I do next. I take the selection tool. I select my profile picture. Okay. I'm actually going to create a new layer by clicking on this icon here. And I'm actually just going to simply take the paint bucket and um, create a black square. Just so that I know the outline of where my... Uh, Facebook profile is going to overlap my cover photo so that I can select that portion of my cover photo and use it as my Facebook profile photo. So, all right, I've selected um, my profile picture here, and then I actually just created a, a square. I, I paint bucketed a, a uh, square so that I know how far down it goes here. This is really what I'm looking for. I'm, just going to take one of these guidelines. I click on the ruler up here. If you don't see the rule, it's control R on your keyboard. Um, and I'm just going to drag a guideline down to the bottom of this photo. And what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm essentially going to take um, my cover photo layer, which is this layer here. And I'm going to hit, hit control T on the keyboard or edit free transform select the layer first edit free transform and I'm actually going to uh, click on this arrow hold the shift key and I'm going to expand this image a little bit I'm gonna expand it just to this guideline maybe a little bit further just to be safe so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to select, see here's my black square. This is, this is the portion 
that I need to cut out of my cover photo and make it my profile picture. So I've made this black square, now it's really easy. Now I can select the black square layer, I hit control on my keyboard, and then I click on this window here, and that selects my black box. But I don't want to select the black box, I actually want to select this layer here. Um, I want to select this background layer. So I'm going to hit Control C. I'm going to copy this selection and then File, New. And here's a quick tip. The width needs to be 180. It cannot be anything lower than 180 pixels wide or else you'll get an error. It'll say, um, you know, it needs to be 180 at least. So I'm going to keep the height at 160 because that's fine. I'm actually going to change that to 170 and I'm going to make sure that the width is 180. OK. And then I'm going to paste that square that I just had selected and I'm going to hit Control T or Edit Free Transform. I'm just going to center this. Make sure that it goes all the way to both edges in the center. And so now this square right here, this is my new profile picture. I'm actually going to save this file, save as new profile picture, and I'm going to make sure that's a JPEG. But I'm going to go a step further than that. I'm actually going to take this selection here, and I'm going to go back to the screenshot layer that I pasted, and I'm going to copy now this square out of this layer, control C, and I'm going to go back to my profile picture, my new profile picture, and I'm going to paste that part. And I'm actually going to take the uh, eraser tool, I'm going to erase everything but my body so that it looks like I'm, I guess, superimposed on my new cover photo. So I'm just going to actually get rid of this white bar at the bottom and I'm just gonna you know really quickly just trace the outside of this whoops kinda chopped off my head there a little bit that's alright I won't feel it so basically now I can take this I'm actually gonna do a free transform on this layer. I'm just going to drag it all the way down to the bottom so it fills the cover photo. One last thing, I just I can't stand these little... There we go. <laughs> That's fine. Demonstration purposes. So, now I have my new profile picture. I'm actually, one last thing, just so it blends with the rest of my um, cover photo. I'm actually going to do a quick image adjustments, exposure. I'm just going to Make it pop a little bit. How do I do this? That's kind of, it's kind of rad. Cool. So I'm going to now. I'm going to resave this. Save as, and I'm just going to save over my um, new profile picture. Yes, I want to replace it. And one last thing, because we changed the size of our cover photo, we need to we need to now make. Um, we need to now make this we need to now make this part the cover photo because I dragged this down I, I enlarged my cover photo and I actually changed it we can't use the same cover photo I had because if you remember I took this and I did a free transform and I dragged it down to meet this guideline so now I need to basically um, I need to resave my cover photo because I changed it a little bit. It won't line up perfectly. So basically all I need to do is select this layer, this original cover photo layer actually. And what am I going to do? I'm actually going to select everything down to this um, guideline. And I'm going to hit Control Copy and then Control N for File New. And here we go. I need to make sure that the width is 851, but the height only needs to be um, 315 <clears throat> because I'm creating a new cover photo. So 851 pixels, 351 pixels, okay. And I'm going to now paste 
um, my new cover photo basically in here, but you need to watch out because this is, see how the, uh, the photo is actually bigger than my document? So I just make sure that it's lined up at the top. Got it? So now I hit enter. And now only this part is going to be the new cover photo. So now that I have this lined up with the top, I do file, save as, I'm just going to name this new cover photo, save this as a JPEG, save, done, go back to Facebook. I'm going to now change the cover photo, new cover photo. And that should be the perfect size. I, I, I won't be able to drag or reposition, which is good. Save changes. And then I go to Edit Profile Picture, Upload Photo. And I'm going to select now my new profile picture. Open. And that's it. Um, that's all you need to do. You can see here that um, my body is now superimposed on this cover photo, almost like it doesn't stop. You can see here, if we can zoom in here, um, you can see these lines continue and also over here this red. Um, not the best photo to show you this example, but it doesn't really matter what photo you use. So that's, um, that's how I do it. That's how I combine my cover photo with my profile picture. And um, yeah, and it's definitely hard to notice down here, but see this part down here? This rectangle is also part of my photo, so it's definitely more evident in pictures like this Bud Light where the bottle goes all the way down and if the bottle didn't go all the way down you'd have a black bar or something right here so that's that's essentially how you do it I hope you're able to uh, follow along and I hope you enjoyed it so definitely give it a shot I'd love to see what you come up with and thanks for watching